All right, guys, we are recording. Welcome to our April Spring Cleaning Renewal Kickoff Call. Uh, let me just start by saying that March was incredible. I am so proud of you guys. We added almost 100 new team members. We were so close to the 100 mark. Um, you guys were amazing. We had so many people come close to some really big promotions. Our sales volume was over $12,000 more than last month. So March was incredible. And I started thinking about the month of April. And it's very significant for me because April of last year is when I made Emerald. And we had a zillion promotions on our team. So I thought, man, what can we do? I want to have that same kind of momentum going into this April. And you guys have been amazing. You know, I've been fighting since Christmas to get my rank back. And thanks to you guys and all your hard work and my incredible team, that happened this month. So bless you. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without you guys. You rock. And But I want to put us on a path so that every single month, you guys are making forward progress and you're getting close to your next rank. If you're trying to make silver, that's a lot easier. You're more likely gonna do that in a month. But if you're trying to hit gold, senior gold, ruby, and for some of you, senior ruby, that's a little bit tougher. So we're, we're gonna do a project for the month of April. And it's called Spring Cleaning, Spring Renewal, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna focus on some different areas. So I'm going to go through them, but before I do, let me tell you about how our incentive is going to work this month. And Keetra, you feel free to take these daily activities and put them in your group if you guys want to do it too. So that's awesome. Um, bottom line is, we're going to, I'm, I have a grab bag. And in the grab bag, there's going to be a triplex. There's going to be gift cards to places like Target and different restaurants. Um, not Cracker Barrel, y'all aren't getting my Cracker Barrel card. There will be um, 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 cash, all different prizes, okay? I'm gonna have a list up there by tomorrow. And so every single person this month who adds five new team members, you get to pick something out of that bag and you get to pick whatever you want. So naturally, the person who adds five people first, you're gonna have a better shot at what's in the bag, right? So you want to try and get, and every time you add five, you get to pick again. So like Joetta added 10 people or eight people last month. She would have been really close to getting two picks out of that grab bag. And these are personally sponsored ambassadors. This isn't on your team. So I will put this list up. Anybody, when you add your five people for the month who are active with a welcome pack, you get to pick a prize. And there are some awesome prizes in there. We've got leadership books, all kinds of fun stuff. So you just pick the prize that you feel is best for you. And every time a prize comes out, I'll add another one in. So there's always gonna be at least five or six things to choose from, so fun stuff. We had a lot of people who would have qualified for that this past month. So that's our April incentive. You don't have to worry about a drawing. You don't have to worry about getting picked. Oh, and I need to post the winners from last night. I've already talked to some of you. But anyone who adds the five, you get a prize, okay? So that's our April incentive. So how are we gonna accomplish that? Well, we're going to look at April and spring as, as a month of renewal. And we're gonna focus on several areas. The first thing that I want all of you to do is renew your why. If you've had a rough couple of months, some of you have had a rough couple of months, some of you have had amazing months. We're all in different places. But regardless, I want you to look at spring. We have, this is new momentum, new season. We're getting into our really busy time of year. People are ready for summer. They're thinking about getting healthy. You know, there's not anything big going on in April. April's usually a huge month for our company. So think about your why. Why are you doing this? Do you want to be a diamond one day? Which, let me just tell you, this month, Plexus added 10 new diamonds, um, I think 12 sapphires and 22 emeralds. You guys are in the right place at the right time. This company is adding jewels like no other network marketing company. We pretty soon are going to be at the point where there's going to be a thousand jewels. There's a reason we outgrew Maui and we have to move to Kona, Hawaii. 
this is not just an opportunity for the very few. So remember that all of these promotions mean you're in the right place at the right time. So think about your why. Why are you doing this? Do you just need to get healthy and pay for your products? Do you really want to get serious about this as a business and look at it as something that replaces your current income or that you do full time one day? Are you looking to leave a legacy for your children and grandchildren? Really think about why you're here. And I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. It makes a difference when you write it. You can think it all day long, but when you write it, it's different, okay? And I want you to write it down. You don't have to share it with anybody if you don't want to. So revisit your why, renew it, change it. Then I want you to really renew your goals. Are you dreaming big enough? Are you setting a goal of, well, you know, I, I want to do 100 PV every month and maybe add one new team member. That's not a goal. Set big goals. Say, you know what? I'm going to win Aaron's contest. I'm going to add five new people. And I'm going to help everybody under me go silver and add three people. You know, really think about that power of three. Dream big. I had a conversation on Messenger with a silver ambassador right before we got on this call. And she said, Aaron, I just made silver. Be honest with me. What do I need to do to get to Ruby? That's dreaming big. That's goals. That is someone who's going to really move up and impact her family for a very long time with what she's doing in this company. So think about your goals and renew them. You know, if you have just said, well, I just, by Christmas, I, I want to be gold. That's crazy. By Christmas, every single person on this call could be bare minimum senior gold. Have big goals. It is so much better to dream big and fall a little bit short than dream short and really have nothing to fall back on, okay? Set big goals. Literally everyone on this call can be Emerald by Christmas. Not unreasonable, not, un, not outlandish. There are tons of people who are hitting Emerald. They have a fire in their belly and they want to change their life. They want to change their family's life. They're hitting these jewel ranks in five and six months. Does it mean that's God's plan for you? No, of course not. Does it mean you should feel bad if it takes you longer? Absolutely not. It took me 19 months. And then after I had it for a while, I lost it for a few months and I just got it back. So sometimes we have big plans and God has a different plan and that's okay. But have a big goal and know that you're doing your part. You know, saying that things will happen in God's timing doesn't mean sitting on your booty and just waiting for God to do it all. We have to do our part. So renew your why. Number two, renew your goals. Really renew your goals. If you set a goal of being senior gold by Christmas, I want you to up it at least one rank. Up it to Ruby. If you set a goal of being Ruby by Christmas, I want you to up it one to senior Ruby. Have big goals, okay? And have a goal for July 31st. That's a big date in our company. That's the cutoff when you have to make Emerald if you want to go to Hawaii and earn the free trip to Hawaii. So we all set goals for July 31st. Dreaming big, I'd love to be Sapphire by then. My, that's my stretch goal. My realistic goal is Sapphire by Christmas. So I guess if I take my own advice, I have to change that to Diamond by Christmas, don't I? All right, that's going to be my goal, Diamond by Christmas. So Revisit those goals and write them down. Write them with your why. Write them with your goals. Have it all together on one piece of paper, okay? The third thing that I want you to focus on is spring cleaning. We're going to spring clean this, okay? All of you have things in there, I do too, that say, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. Um, I'm not as good as her, I'm not as good as her, and I'm gonna be very real and very vulnerable with you guys right now, okay? Because I love you, and I know other people go through what I go through. I have to tell you, when you hit a rank like Emerald and you lose it for a few months, it hits your confidence and you start to question yourself. And I would go on that jewel page and go, man, I don't belong here, you know? Look at all these people ranking up, and I'm clawing my way to get back to Emerald. I'm not good enough, and then I had to go, boom! Yes, you are, Aaron. You're just in a different place in life. You're having a tough season and you'll battle back from it. And we did because I have an amazing team and because God is wonderful. 
but spring clean those thoughts. No more negative self-talk, no more doubting yourself, no more thinking you're not as good as the next person. Every single person on this call can be the next Celeste Gwynn, can be the next Jen Hawkins, can be the next Sarah Marble, can be the next Sonia, Helen, anybody, Julia. You know, there's so many amazing diamonds, double diamond, almost double diamond. Guys, in three or four years, that can be your life. If you clean the junk out of here, and really know that God has a plan and a purpose for you. And something, you know, that really helped me stop thinking badly of myself was to remember that I'm created in Christ's image. And so I must be beautiful, amazing, wonderfully made, and destined for big things, right? You have to think that and you have to remember that. So we're going to spring clean the junk. I don't care what happened in March. I don't care what happened in February. I don't care what happened in January. We're cleaning it out. We're starting over. We're only going to put positive stuff in our mind. And that means a lot of things. It, it means every day you have to look at your positive affirmations. And this is an assignment. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write down, and Sarah has us do this all the time, five amazing things about yourself as it relates to personal life and Plexus business. And every day, I want you to read those to yourself. I am looking in my office above my desk. I still have mine taped up on the wall from when I was trying to make Emerald over a year ago. So write them down. Write them down. If you've got people in your life who are telling you that this is a joke, that you're silly, that you can't do this, you may not have room for them anymore. Look at the influences in your life. Look at who you're listening to. Look at who you're running with. I love how Presley Swaggerty says, show me who you run with and I'll show you who you are. If you run with people who are negative and who have no goals and no dreams and no hopes, you're going to be the same way. But if you run with people who build you up, who are positive, who tell you that you're amazing and who believe in you and support you, then guess what? You're going to be supporting each other and you're all going to rise to the top together. So Clean out what you're telling yourself, clean out who you're surrounding yourself with, clean out what you're reading, what you're spending time doing. You know, if you spend all your time watching the depressing news, then you're, you're going to be depressed. Take the time that you would spend on some of that and use it to watch an amazing YouTube video from one of our leaders or something really positive. Read a good book. Uh, I don't have it in the office, but I got an amazing book in the mail today. Plexus sent the jewels, all this wonderful leadership book from John Addison. And um, I can't wait to just jump into that. And right now, I've got a lot of stuff going on. My son left today. You know, I'm housebound, recovering from this surgery. And I could get in the dumps, and I do sometimes. I'm human. But if I spend my day pouring into my team and pouring into self-growth things and pouring into my, my Bible and my devotion and my family and my friends, then how could I possibly be down in the dumps, right? So clean out everything. Look at what you're doing. Totally renew your mind. Renew your attitude. Renew your faith in yourself. And um, no, no more negative talk, okay? So that's number three. We're going to spring clean. And you might need to do some spring cleaning around the house, too, and get yourself organized. Thank goodness this camera shows you a little tiny piece. If you guys saw my office, and some of you have, so shispers, um, you would die. It's pretty crazy. So that's one of my goals when I'm allowed to kind of bend and lift a little bit is to get my office decluttered. So spring clean everything. Spring clean your body. If you have not been really following your plexus regimen and eating healthy the way you should, I'm telling you, you will feel so much better when you do. I have been terrible about that lately because, you know, I'm taking these IV meds three times a day. It tears up my stomach. And so a lot of times all I can handle is some carbs, you know, and I feel awful when I eat mashed potatoes. But in survival mode, you kind of have to do that. So now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to get back into the habit of eating the way I know I need to eat. I'm staying faithful on my plexus regimen. I've tripled my probio. And um, just in the last few days, I can feel a difference, you know, from trying to do better with that. So spring clean everything, body, mind, office, house, look at your friends, look at, you know, who you're letting influence you and just spring clean all that. 
it's time for some, and if you're already in a great place with all that, then great, you have a head start. So number four is you really need to renew your commitment to Plexus. Think about how you've approached your business in the last three months. Ask yourself if you've really been all in. To be all in means that you don't just work your Plexus business three or four times a week. You may only have 30 minutes a day. Some of you have three hours a day. It just depends. Our lives are all very different and we're all busy. But if you're all in, you're going to give, there's something you can give up to work this business 30 minutes a day consistently every day. If you want to get to the next level, you have to do that. Um, you know, I, there's people on this call, I won't single people out, but they're ranking up and it's because they're committed every day and their lives are busy, their lives are hectic, but guess what? Every day they give up something, give up TV, give up whatever, and they know that in the long term, when you can reach the jewel ranks with Plexus and be making a five figure a month income and able to support your family better and get out of debt, it's worth whatever you're giving up. So are you really all in? Renew that commitment. Go back and watch our new ambassador training video that talks about how you get started sharing. You know, some of you may need to start over from the very beginning, and that's fine. There's no secrets to this. There's no strategy. There's no secret plan. Just do the activities every day for at least 30 minutes a day, and I promise you the results will follow. So are you all in with daily activity? Are you all in with helping your team? How well do you know your team? Are you trying to help everyone on your team that has an interest go silver every month? Are you the ones who tell you they have no interest in the business? Are you at least touching base and saying, hey, Susie, if you decide you want to get your products for free, let's talk. I'll show you how to do that, you know, without pressuring them. Are, are you really pouring into this every single day? And that doesn't mean scrolling Facebook. It doesn't mean, um, you know, talking to one person a day. Being all in means you're engaged in the groups, you're commenting on the posts, you're posting and asking questions, you're going to listen to the calls, you're listening to the recordings, you're taking advantage of the company resources, you're reaching out to at least five new people a day, whether it be on Facebook, on the phone, in person, whatever. You're following up, with, you're doing your 531 every single day. Are you really all in? And if you think maybe you're not, then that's fine. Start fresh. Renew that commitment and say, starting today, I'm all in. When we get off this call, take a half hour and work your Plexus business. Utilize buffer. Utilize things that will let us post during the day when we're busy at work. Are you doing your three to five posts a day? Are you keeping them personal and non-salesy? If you commit and you're all in, and you're honestly doing the work every single day, seven days a week, it's gonna happen. Is it work? Yes. Do you have to sacrifice some things? Yes. When I decided I wanted to go Emerald, I gave up TV, guys. I didn't watch any TV for almost a year, but it was so worth it because I got to know a lot of you, and a lot of you joined my team during that period. So, I mean, it was well worth it. Renew that commitment. And if you need help, getting back started, I'm here to help you, whatever I can do. I will not be happy till everyone on my team is a jewel, till we're all diamonds, hanging out in California and Hawaii and having a good old time. So number four is we're gonna renew that commitment. Number five, the final thing we're really gonna focus on is teamwork. I love how close-knit this team is. People who are sidelines and not all in the same downline, I mean, everyone is just close, and I want us to all be encouragers. If one of your teammates posts something in the group, go in there and comment. Show them some love. If they make a Plexus post, go in and help them out. Show some love on that post. If someone's having a rough day, I want you to come in the group and say, oh, I'm feeling frustrated today. I did this, this, and this. I'm not seeing the results I want. Somebody give me some ideas. I want us to work even more as a team. Our goal for the month of April is to add 150 new team members. That means five a day. Y'all, we can do that. Today's the first, and I haven't even announced any goals, and I, that I know of, we've already added three today. 
So five a day, we can do this, okay? We can totally do this. And if you make it a point to add one person to your team a day, whether it's your personal, your level two, your level three, your level four, if each of you commits to trying to add a person every day, you're not gonna do it every single day, but many days you will. And you might end up with 15 or 20 new people at the end of the month. But what happens if you set a goal to add a person a week? If you miss that goal, you're really gonna be in a bad place, right? Aim high, dream big. There are teams no bigger than ours adding three and 400 people a month. Guys, we can do this. You can't force your team to catch the vision, to have the passion. All you can do is show and lead by example. When your team sees the passion in you and they see you doing the daily work and they see you engaging and posting and commenting and that you're personally adding people, doing your three a month, this month your five, then they're going to follow suit and eventually they will catch that passion. A lot of you that have been with me from day one, none of us had this kind of passion two years ago. Guys, we didn't know what the heck we were doing. But guess what? We're still here and we're moving up and we're moving forward and we're all going to be diamonds one day. So encourage your team. Your job is not to motivate people. Your job is to be an inspiration and work with those who are already motivated. If there's somebody who just doesn't get it, you have to let them go and move on. You have to run with the runners. You have to devote 80% of your time to the people who truly want this and tell you they want it. And you only want to spend about 20% of that time trying to drag the ones that say they want it but don't do the work. You have to let them go. And you have, but then when they're ready and they come to you and say, okay, I'm ready, I'm going to do this, then you devote that time to them too, okay? You have to be able to mold yourself and change based on people's needs. You could have somebody who you thought was never going to want this business and all of a sudden they're on fire. So that person needs a lot of your attention, okay? Run with the runners. Get to know your team. If you don't know their needs, and you don't know what their goals are. If I've got a person who just wants to get their products free and I'm trying to get them to go diamond, we're not gonna click very well, okay? So you've gotta know what your people want. And the, you have to stay in touch with them on a regular basis every month because their goals could change. One month they could say they don't want the business and then all of a sudden, bam, they catch the fire because they're seeing what we're all doing and now you've got a runner. Or you can have a runner that has to drop out of the race for a little bit because life happened. And so at that point, you want to love them where they are, offer to help their team as much as you can, and then work with the ones that want to work, okay? Everything is going to be ever-changing, constantly changing, and you just have to understand that change is a good thing. And don't be intimidated by it and just adapt. And know that we're all in this together. I am here to help you guys any way I can. If you're on my team, if you're not on my team, I want everyone to experience the freedom of Plexus. And so when we sit back tonight, we revisit that why, we rewrite down our some new goals, we dream big, we do some spring cleaning and detoxify our brain, we renew our commitment, we really get on board with the idea of teamwork and, and encouraging each other and being each other's cheerleaders. I love our team spirit. And guess what, guys? You know what the result's going to be? We're going to hit that 150 new team members. And everyone that's going for all these promotions, you're going to hit those promotions, and we're all going to push you and cheer you on. So that's pretty much all I have. What I'd like to do now is open the floor for questions, comments, feedback, and have a discussion for a few minutes before we end the call. So does anybody have a question? Just unmute yourself. And we're recording this, so if there's something I didn't touch on that you know you have a team member that's going to hear the recording, ask the question and I'll answer it, and um, then your rest of your team can hear it later. Who's got a question? Are you trying to unmute yourself, Roxy? Hang on, let me do it. Hey, I got oh. it. Okay, it wasn't letting me. Okay, I know we have a lot of new people on here, and I want you and to touch on the yes, Minnie Mouse. She saw your Minnie Mouse mug. Um, 
the <laughs> the importance of using social media as far as not just posting once a day for our new people to kind of just tell them what a good general amount of posting is and how different people see it at different times okay so that can be yeah. consistent absolutely so facebook has algorithms so i can make five to ten facebook posts a day if i want to and the same people aren't going to see them um i miss half of your posts and facebook does that because they want people to buy advertising so you all need to be making at least three to five posts a day two or three of them about personal things in your personal life so people get to know you and you don't look like a plexus billboard and then maybe two or three posts that are about plexus not salesy posts not sharing someone else's posts just something personal you drinking your pink drink and saying how good you feel that is going to go over a lot better than you sharing someone else's before and after picture um, Julia Carti is a diamond ambassador from Alabama our only diamond our first diamond she has never posted a before and after a weight loss picture ever and she is diamond and she has four emeralds under her so you want to keep this personal it's a relational business three to five posts a day half of them personal about you and your life and what's going on with you half of them plexus posts that are personal okay no medical terms no disease claims nothing like that they're really cracking down on that so if the words are on the website you can use them um, also you want to make sure that you're posting during peak times, early in the morning, lunchtime, mid-evening, and then, you know, 10 p.m. No one's going to see posts you make between midnight and 6 p.m. And the more you comment and like other people's posts, the more they'll see yours. And when people come in and like your Plexus post, you need to go back and message them that same day and say, hey, Roxy, I saw you like my post about Plexus. I'd love to tell you about it. This is an awesome product. It's totally changed my life. I'd love to tell you a little bit more about it. So that's kind of the basics with Facebook. And you same kind of rules for Instagram, Twitter. Every single day. You can't post for three days and then take a break. And if you do eight or ten Plexus posts a day, you're going to look like a salesman and no one's going to pay attention to you. Anybody else have a question? Nothing. Going once. Going twice. Okay. If you guys think of anything, um, I will post the recording in the group. Just comment and I'll be glad to answer. Again, I love you guys. I cannot thank you enough for the amazing march that we had. We are forced to be reckoned with down here and all over the country. And April is going to break records. I know it. I feel it in my bones. I see lots of promotions coming. And every day, it's going to be 30 days, uh, well, 29 days of daily activity. Uh, actually, it's going to be 30. I do have one for today. So I'm going to create an event in our group where I will post the 30 days of activity so that they don't get lost and buried in our team page, all right? So be sure you invite all your team to that. And I will also let people know in there about our um, incentive if you add five people. All right. Love you guys. Have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Stay dry, people. Bye. Thank you. Bye, y'all.